Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to clean your shark. It's a very simple easy way to do it. This is the top part and then you've also got your head which again is an interesting one in its own respect. Please subscribe and please share. Anyway we'll get right on with the video. <laughs> Right, first thing guys, you'll probably realise by now how to empty your rubbish. You just press down on this slider here and it opens up. Now the important thing here guys is this piece in here. As you can see it gets covered in a lot of muck. Now you really want to get yourself a brush and just brush it off. Like that, just take it off, get rid of all of it. And obviously that goes in your rubbish. Right, this part can also be washed out. Now we'll close him up. The next thing guys is how to detach this piece here. It's very simple. There's a button on here and all you do is press this and this releases this part. Now, as you can see, this is just your motor part. Now, for cleaning this out, you just pull this out, which these are replacement filters. And this is basically a sponge. And as you can see, this is just one month of dust on there. So you can just vacuum it out or you can actually put this in a washing machine or wash it under a tap and clean out. Once again, as you can see in here, all that dust. And this will need regularly cleaning. Also, this sponge. Put it back together. Once you've washed this, you can dry it off, put it back, also, you'll obtain a brand new one of these. Or you can actually make it. This stuff is quite available off the shelf and even on Amazon and eBay. It's just an ordinary type filter and you can cut it to shape, save yourself some money. Pop it back in. And once again, the same way as you come out, you've actually got a hole here and a hole on here. So now all you need to do is line them up which is pretty straightforward and easiest way. The easiest way, there's a little piece in there to hook it in. And on there, there's a hook on there as well. Can you put them together like this and close it once again? on here and on the bottom here and all we're doing if you can see we're locking them in like that and that's all you need to know about cleaning this part now moving on to your main part of your vacuum this is the area which gets the real grime. So all we've got to do with this guys is turn it over. Right now you'll see on the bottom of this three screws. Now it does say to use a coin, but if you can get a coin to fit them, best of luck. Now all we do is just turn it, it just unlocks it. And then this piece just pulls out like this. So if you look, got a look, look a little brush end on here that you want to clean off. Once again, this is your inside part. 
which should be easy to clean, but it's not. Also, you'll find that you can release on the side here, the roller. And you just push it up, very simply on the side, push it up and that releases your roller. As simple as that. Once again, you can wash this under the tap or you can just give it a good blow or whatever you like to do, but you really want to keep this clean as well. Once again, when you get inside, you'll see lots and lots of dust and stuff, which all needs to be cleaned out. And the worst place for it, guys, is the roller. Now, allegedly, this is not supposed to pick any hairs up, but on close examination, and the hairs do get locked round the roller. It's not supposed to do this but they do. See, this is not an exaggeration, guys. You can see it, look. They ain't coming out in any hurry. You've really got to tug at these things to get them out. This is, this is anti-hair technology. <laughs> uh, this is not as bad as it's been. There to say, as you can see the hairs, they don't come off that easy. And they do get stuck around the roller. See? So once again, how to clean this off. It's painstaking and somebody has to do it. So the easiest way guys is to hack it out yourself. It's just pull it out with your fingers. Yeah, I know, it's not supposed to do this, but it's the only way you're gonna do it. And even now, some of it won't come out. It just sticks. They don't put this in the instructions that you're gonna have a hell of a job of getting them, getting any, but it's actually bits of carpet, as well as hairs. Because once your carpet is stuck to it, the hairs stick to the carpet bits. And then just get your brush and give it a sweep round. Also, to make sure the hole here is clear, because on numbers of occasions, I found this full of rubbish. You just sweep it all out. Like that. Now if we're putting it back together guys, it's the same way as you took it out, the opposite way around. This end goes into the here and this just clips into this part over here. Let's put it around here so you can see. This just clips into this. So you go round and it just clips in like that. Open it up again. So as you can see, it just clips in. Now for putting this part on, once again, there's two little clips, left and right, and you just push them in. You see them on there? There and there. And you're putting them in. And then once again, with your screws, you just lock them in. And your own click when you've got them in. And that's it. Well guys, as you can see, it's very simple to clean your machine. Now, I will say this is plastic and over time, I think you'll find that things will break. Because I've noticed on Amazon, they have got replacement parts and even on Shark's own website, 
it's shown replacement parts. So if it just happens to break, you can replace the parts. Because I guess this plastic is not the best plastic. It's what I call good quality bad plastic, if there's such a word. It's plastic at the end of the day. And like with any type of plastic bits, anything that comes apart, especially once you've got this apart, you only got to drop it down on the floor, or you might be outside doing a caravan, drop it on the floor and you're gonna break it. It will break easy. It's that type of thing that, what's nice, Shark has got replacement parts for this. Dare to say, it is blooming expensive parts as well. I've already looked, replacement parts for this is very expensive and more expensive than this part. So if anything goes wrong, it's expensive. But there again, Shark is a very good brand. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and please share. And do check out the description below because there may be playlists down below or on my channel which may interest you because I am a professional baker. So, and I do reviews on products as well. So it could be flour, it could be a machine, it could be anything. So I do reviews on that as well, as also providing you a bakery recipe. Anyway, we'll see you again very shortly. Laters.